All right, we're here in Norco today. Um, we have got Sally and what's his name? Gunner. Gunner. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If I don't know that horse by now, there's problems, huh? <laughs> so anyway, um, we trailered him over today. These horses aren't trailered all the time, uh, once in a while. Um, so we don't know what they're gonna be, but I'm gonna show these guys kind of some ways that you can get them to load and just totally relax in the trailer. Gunner's being a little stompy in there. Um, so we're gonna kind of just give you the, the uh, method that I use to get them to load um, and be really comfortable in a trailer. So anyway, so we'll unload them first and we'll just kind of narrate as we go. She's got to be good with the purple lead rope. She loves it. Yeah. She's purple. She tells us all the time, Mike. See how she wants to come out right now? When you have them tied in a lot of times and they do that, they'll hit that rope and it, then it makes them really nervous. So what we want is for them to stand here, not even try to back out unless we ask them to back out. So she's not being bad, but she did try to go backwards before I got her unclipped. So in a short trailer like this, if she got backed up part way and dropped a foot off and then hit the end of that, that causes the wrecks. So what we want is for her to stand here totally relaxed and wait for us to ask her. So she's not bad, but we can help that a little bit, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't ever want her to come out on her own. I want to be the one to ask her, okay? So I'm just gonna grab the bottom, the knot on the lead rope right, or on the halter, and I'm just gonna ask for even a step at a time. And she's not rushy. Okay, now even right here, if you have a horse, see how she kinda got a little bit upset right there? So I'm just gonna ask her to come back in, see how she's fighting that? So right there, there's your resistance. And this, we, we all know that she's got a little of this in her, right? So what I wanna be able to do with her is I wanna be able to point to this trailer. See how the resistance is right there? So we may have to grab a, so right there, that's resistance. Whether you can get her in or not, she's being resistant to that. What I wanna do, um, the, our horse is at home, you open a trailer door and you stand right here and they jump in and just flip the rope over their neck and they stand there all day long. So you can see her a little bit of anxiousness right here. So we may have to get a stick and string to get this done, but. So we'll. If I tell her Okay, so right there, you see how she's totally turning away from the trailer? So what I would do with her, okay, so you remember the sending exercise? This is why this stuff's so important, okay? So we're gonna send her past the trailer. And then we're gonna yield her hindquarters. See how she's not really paying attention? So we'll yield her, or we'll send her through. So what we wanna do is we wanna make out here be a place that she works a little bit. Now, the reason for this is once she does get in and relaxes, then you get to tell her how cute she is and how pretty she is and all that because that's where she goes, hey, if I'm standing in here, I get all the loving, you know? My purple lead rope gets wrapped around me and it's all just great. So I'm just gonna ask her to kind of move around here, send her a couple times, yield. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of fade up to the trailer and let her just get close. See how she wanted to go past me? Okay, there's your resistance right there. Okay, so if she turns away, so right there she has no intentions of wanting to get on that trailer. Okay, so hey, would you, have you got, did you say you brought a stick and string? I'll grab it right now. Just so I've got a little longer reach here. Okay, so see if you can tell me what I did right there. I asked her to come forward. And as long as she does, I'll release her. But see how she's pulling on me right here? There, she went forward and I released her. See how she's always looking for a way out of this deal. Oh, sorry, that was that me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get her up here. There's the resistance, see that? You don't want any of that. You want her just to come forward for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach back here and I'm gonna tap her with the rhythm on her butt until she comes forward. 
Okay, and then I'll just rub her. So remember, this isn't all about just loading. This is about getting her comfortable in the trailer. It's not a trailer issue, it's more of a defiance thing. Okay, so I'm gonna point. Remember, with the sending exercise, it's always a point first. This is what the cue you want to be. You don't wanna ever have to use this after we get her going. Okay, so I'm gonna point, I'm gonna tap with rhythm. Okay, she took a step forward. So we'll rub her. Okay, point, tap. If she tries to go over me, now if she goes there. If she goes backwards, I just pick up the intensity a little bit. Say that's not the right answer. Okay, so I'll point. So now you're seeing she got in because you got in first. She needs to be able to do this on her own. And right now she has no leadership. She's just got to figure this out on her own. Point, tap. See right now she's sliding her butt around. She's looking for every excuse not to have to get in there. And we don't want that. We want them to want to get in. Tap. There, see how she tried to go backwards and I just picked up the tap a little bit? There, there's the licking and chewing, so she's starting to understand. Okay, so I'll point. Okay, I don't want her to go backwards, there we go. Now if you get a horse that's really wild with this and just fighting it and fighting it, then I'll do the sending exercise and really work them out here. And we may have to do that with her, but I want to give her a chance to learn it this way first. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. Now could I get in and have her follow me in? Probably. There's a little bit of defiance in her. We all know she has a little of that. <laughs> We've seen it before. I can call that near and around. Okay, so see, when I get in there, it really... Okay, so we'll work her out here a little bit. See, right now, she's looking for every excuse to get away from that, and we don't really want it to be a forced thing. We want her just to... Let it be where she gets to relax. So I'm not gonna force her not to go backwards. I'm just gonna make it uncomfortable until she comes forward. going, I'm trying to be patient. Okay, now that time she actually looked towards the trailer. She's looking for a relief somewhere. So I'm just going to keep asking for a little, there. She licked a little, every time she goes backwards, I'm going to ask her back up again. See, she's testing that every time to see if she can go backwards. And I'm just saying, no, just stay there. The nice thing about a horse like this that's doing this is once she gets it, she'll love it. Well, it's always been for her, even though she loads, it's always been something she has to do instead of something she gets to do. Yeah. 
And that's all right. It's just, you know, I mean, you like them just to want to be in there. See, this is the this is the same kind of resistance we saw with the saddling, exactly the same. There you go. I would imagine that once this is thick, it's thinner. It's yeah, always. Yeah, because this is big. I mean. The saddling, yeah, you saw some resistance, but nothing like this. So right there, okay. So did you guys see the change in her right there? Now I'm not having to tap her near as hard either. There was a foot in. Okay, so she's going, was that enough? And I'm going, no. Just come back up. So now we're just going, as long as you stay up here, there's no pressure. See how she's kind of investigating it? So up until this point, she's dependent on another person to get in here. So it really hasn't been her idea, it's been yours. Or yeah. another horse. Or another, or another horse. It's always, that's just how she was. She would never move first. No, she has. She's just always had. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now this is where you come in here and you just say, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen. She looks great, by the way, for being this old. Okay, so do you see her pin her ears right there at me? Yeah. She's going, you just smacked my butt to get me in here. So this is where I want to make sure she knows that this is just the best place in the world. <laughs> okay, so after I petted her and told her she's cute, even though her ears are back and she looks like a mule when she does that, we'll just ask her to back up. Now, if you'll notice, she wasn't real rushy getting out, but those last steps or two, she was kind of anxious. So see now how she's going forward instead of backwards? She's going, wait a minute, I got to rest right here. So you see how she doesn't want to get out now? That's a really good problem to have. Yeah. So I, we can talk about this later maybe, but um, no, I have it's... questions about when you have a horse in the tree and you have to pull them out from the That's okay. Okay. Yeah, you can turn them around. See, now see how she's really nervous? Now that she's got in, she's going, I don't know if I want to get out. That's okay. So, so this is one of those things we just got to get her to where she goes. This is my relaxing place. You're okay, sis. You're okay. See, she's getting her butt in that corner instead of... You're all right. You're all right, girl. You're okay. You're okay. There you go. You almost got it. Okay, now, even just this time, I'm guessing this is going to be way easier this time. Or not. Do you see the anxiousness in her and the penny ears and all those things? Once we get her to where this is comfortable for her, that'll go away. She's licking and chewing now. So if we were to do what we're doing with her right now and not pet her after, this would be a train wreck. 
But this has got to be where she realized that this is just a great place to be. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's, she's got a habit. She just thinks that's what she's supposed to do. Okay, so we're going to ask her to come out again. And the quieter this gets, the better she's going to get. She's in a little shorter trailer, so she kind of backs into that corner, and she's just got to figure out how to move her butt around. There, now watch how much better that was. Okay. So, now that she's got to rest in here, we'll just ask her forward again. Same thing, we'll just go in here and pet her. Now, see how the penny ears didn't happen that time? Nope, no, not. <laughs> no, no penny ears. Okay, now I, now I don't like to be scratched right there, so I'm gonna make sure she knows it feels good. 